All right, you guys. Here we got a very strange lawnmower. I need your help because I'm really not that good at saying, oh, this is an AYP or this is an MTD. Uh, it's not an MTD because an MTD frame has more of a shell. But this is 150 cc's certified, whatever that means. It's imported from China. The whole mower is made in China and it's imported by Tri-Leaf, T-R-I-L-E-A-F, Tri-Leaf Distribution. But it's all dressed up like it's got, I think they're going to do too much. This is a full four-wheel adjustment, right? Up to seven, down to two, probably three is where I would run. Uh, it does run, but it has a hell of a rattle. It almost sounds like a death rattle. If any of you guys know what a death rattle is, if you don't, you're going to hear it. But I'm going to try and start it with the bale clamped to see if it's just the brake rubbing on the, on the flywheel top of the engine, you know, where the brake squeezes to stop the engine from turning. But let's have a listen to see what it sounds like when it's fired up. Right? There we go. I heard a gurgle. Listen for that bat at the beginning and a bat at the end. I haven't even started in, in about a month. And there it's dying again. So there's a hell of a rattle. So I don't know if the blade is loose. I haven't looked under it much. I just did clean out some broccoli out from underneath it. Could be the uh, timing key is off one notch, you know, like one degree or two degrees. Could be the engine's got a death rattle. And I don't want to try that too many more times, but I do want you to hear it. That sounds pretty nasty. So you guys did get that, right? All right, we're going to stick it up on the on the lift. So before we get crazy, we're going to check. Oh, I'll shut up until I get this all the way up. That'll do for now. That's a nice height. Are we there? Yes, we are. Now, I'm going to just tilt it back. Disconnect the spark plug. I, I just hope it's just out of time. Spark plug is disconnected. No big noises. So let's have a look at the uh, flywheel key. Six millimeter bolts taking off, uh, holding on the cover. Magnet! I think of Klaus every time. He mentioned he likes this idea. Is there only three? Got the third one, Klaus. Okay, this is a very, it might be a power mower. Looks kind of like a power mower. No label on it. RTGY, RTGY inside there. I guess we could take the bag off. Huh? Yeah, that's flimsy looking too. Oh, one back there. This, I've never seen this before. Socket! My 10 and my 8 millimeter are discolored from use.
I guess I could take, on the other hand, I could take these off and leave the tank connected. No, nope, it's got to come off. I've never seen these. Okay, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Good. I've never seen these straps holding the gas tank to the wind shroud for the choke and governor. Okay, so let's just lift this off now. Oh, there, we dropped the nut. Oh, dropped a, a bushing. Good. It has some Honda looking stuff. Torch plug. Man, I should have bought. Can you buy stock in torch? Because they continually recycle themselves. 19 millimeter, I bet. 19 millimeter. Half inch. We need some air. So you know what I'm hoping to find, right? Is a semi-sheared, only a semi-sheared flywheel key. Well, that's hard to say. They make them awfully hard. I don't think so. Hmm. I'm going to take the spark plug out. It'll be a 5 8 Right there. I want to be able to spin it fast without compression. I don't think there's many hours on this old girl. Okay, now we can spin it. The brake is on, off, I mean. Sounds like something's rubbing. Just gonna spray a little air in there. I wonder if it's the uh, coil. Plug the hole. And I guess I should check the oil. Eh? I don't remember. Usually I check them the day they come in, right? It's got oil. First of all, before we get crazy, let's back off the coil. And we'll pull it, we'll take it off the magnets. And just back it right off a lot. I'm looking for the noise, right? So I backed off the coil. You guys look from there to there. I backed off the coil to an eighth of an inch. Something's making a noise, eh? You know, like a rubbing noise. That sounds severe. I'm going to try and take the flywheel cover off. Oh, a little too much muscle. And I guess, much to many of the uh, commenters out there, I'll just put the bolt, put the bolt on here to keep the threads alive. I'm having a hard time with the vibrator, so 
So I'm going to go to the, the big one. If I can find three places to grab it, eh? Get this bolt off of here and get some uh, penetrating oil down in there. So acetone and transmission fluid, right? And we must have put some heat on it too. I'm just putting some some of this juice down on the flywheel and the crankshaft top. And I'm going to heat it up a little bit. Good. Let's make sure you guys are still online here. Good. Uh, get the bar and we'll get the ratchet. And we'll just we should still have some heat on this. Yes, we do. Hey, that's nice. See now. The the vibrator uh, chisel, air chisel, would not take that off. All I'm doing is making sure there's nothing going on bad. Oh, that's warm underneath here. No, sir. The is in a little crooked. So I'm going to take it out and have a look at it. I'll grab onto it. It's going to come. It's coming. Okay. I'm going to now have a close look at that. So I know it looks okay. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to polish it up, file it, and turn it over. Okay, I'll be back in a bit, guys. i got to think about this now. Okay, I've moved this to a little bit closer to the uh, bench so I can reach this with the uh, crazy weak but fast screwdriver. Does it say RPMs on here? No. Nope. But it goes. Now, so there's no banging, right? Now there's some engine noise. Uh, one of those crazy deals where I can put it all back together again and the noise is gone, right? There we go. I just want to see something. I don't see any marks here. I wouldn't mind turning it over with the plug in. So right now I'm going to clean the plug. Just quickly. Ugh. Looks good. Except it's a torch plug. I'm going to put the plug back in and turn it over if I can. We need the flywheel and the... Where did I put it? Do I slip this in before? Yes, I do. I'm going to turn it upside down and tap it in with my tappy. It even looks better to me, man. <laughs> okay. And the beat on stuff instead of using less impactful. <laughs> 
Well, that's a start. You know, maybe the flying wheel was on too far. So I'm gonna put this on with this, with that, without that. Okay. I'm going to spin it with that drill now. See if we hear any weird noise with the plug in. I don't think it's got the jam, guys. Oh, there it's the knocking. Okay, and forward. Hmm. Okay, I gotta take the blade off. Everything else looks good here. Could be just something wacko. Okay, I'll give you a quick review in case we didn't uh, line up uh, the camera and the battery. I took the flywheel off, took out the fly, uh, flywheel key, spun the engine over, hard to say. So I put the flywheel back on and now it's making a bit of a rattling noise again. So I've just decided to go in and uh, take the blade off and it's a third, no, a 12 millimeter blade boss. Can you guys believe that? Isn't that wild? I don't think I've got anything that small in a half inch. So we're gonna have to we're gonna just have to do the cheekaroo and put an adapter on my air air tool here. Good. Something just doesn't feel right, eh? Okay, that's good. You think it's that? Look at that, eh? Usually, usually the uh... oh, Papa Son. We could be in uncharted territory here. It could be something silly like this. Not tight enough. Like that. I've seen blade bosses make that much noise. Is that still? If this is still a, a 3 8 fine thread, I'm going to get one. That's about that same length. That's not so uh, wimpy looking. I'm going to run them in and out. If it's a 3 8 fine thread, It is, surely. I'm going to switch to a 9 16th. We'll use the black one. I'm just going to run this thread through a couple of times. And I want something that's going to grip a little better than that little guy. Good. Perfection. I'm going to use a lock washer on there too. If I can find one, guess the rebob. Okay. So, yeah. How bad is that blade? Well, the blade's not bad enough to worry about right now. It's funny, the whole thing's metric, but the blade boss thread. Just hold on it. 
now let's go back and take our electric drill with the 19 millimeter and see if we have any weird sounds. That's the kind of thing you have to do. I think we got a Ralphie boy. It's probably that. Did you see the spacer inside the blade boss? It's probably that. I hope you're still watching, man. Yes, you are. So now, I'm going to tighten this up. There should still be some gas in the carburetor. We're going to go to 10 millimeters on the coil. My European friends don't have a complete set of each tools. Like, uh, I've got a, a full set, two sets of each. So SAE and metric and all sizes to half inch most sizes you got to go out and buy ten around there you got to go out and buy the uh, 18 it doesn't come with the sets isn't that a rip off mm, that's too tight I think <clears throat> yeah it is there we go okay rotate item out. We are clamped. We should have a spark now, so we have to be careful. I'm going to turn this bad boy over with the crazy drill, clockwise, and this thing should start without making a noise. Are you ready? We'll see right now. Why aren't we clicking? We should be. Okay. We'll get her started and we'll feed it for a while with this. Okay, I think the death rattle's gone. So it had something to do with that blade boss. Think, Bruce. Use the force, Bruce. Brain enacting now. Okay, I had the fuel line off, cleaned the tank, did the little tiny tube screen. I replaced it because it broke. And I thought, I'll just pop the bowl off. Look at that. Can you believe it even have to start it at all? Darn it! That's okay though. I'm good at this. I'm not going to put you through this one today, guys. Okay, th this is the one I broke. These are just a little inline filter that stick in the tank and then they it filters through and lets gas to the carburetor. I broke this one and I just replaced it with another one. Alright, I'm just about to put this into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Look at that! Anyway, well, be surprised when it comes out, eh? So something that I've been using just to check the temperature of my solution is this. 62, 63, 68. Look at that, 63 right there. If you can read it, it flickers a bit, right? Well, that's pretty cool. I think, I think we've got a mower here. And I think it does need to be sharpened. It's not that bad. I could let it go. But I'll take it outside and sharpen it. You guys can look at one of my other sharpening videos if you need to. I'm trying to cut the time on this one down. Okay, on this blade we've got a nice sharp but uh, blunted edge. But the guy who sharpened this last time tried to do it some from the back. Where can I show you that? Right there. You can see he tried to sharpen it 
uh, along here from the back because uh, sometimes the hand tools don't take off enough material and that's why I like a bench grinder. Nag, nag, nag. Okay, while that carburetor washes away, I'm going to put the sharpened blade back on. I did check it on a nail. It's balanced and I can tell you that if it's balanced on a nail or balanced on a little device, you're not going to tell the difference when you're holding the lawnmower. Oops. So what I do is I get them good. I get them tight enough that I feel tight. And then I take them just another skosh with this big half inch ratchet. Did you hear that? That's some of the tar I got out of the bowl of that carburetor there, eh? So we'll just wait now. Okay, can you guys see in there? It's pretty good. Better than I thought. So I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning just to get that crud out of the base there by the hole. Okay, the uh, carburetor came out really nice. I'm not moving the camera. We've got the gauge here. That's really stable, guys. It's going to be fine. Okay, I put a little gas into the, into the uh, needle and seat. And we'll just see how that looks. Dropping a little at seven, still exactly the same. And holding at six. Six is pretty high. No change. Cool. All right, my friends. Let's just get the lid on this thing. Three bolts. No mat, no plastic. Change the oil if we don't have any any death rattle. Clean filter, same one. I know. Okay. Check above, check below. Grab a little bit of fuel. Okay, one, six burps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boy, that's lots. You ready? Slow it down just a little bit for stability. And if she catches, we'll see if she makes a horrible noise. Got no choke on it at all, just straight primer like an old brave thing. So there you go my friends. I am so happy. I'm just going to wipe it down and change the oil. And certified. I googled it. It's imported into Canada. But that is a really nice looking lawnmower, isn't it? I like the uh, external primer too. Just helps it when the weather's not quite warm. So thank you for watching this video with me guys.